Hello and welcome to another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuide.com Today we're going to show you how to do three clones in Pinnacle Studio 14 Ultimate Collection HD. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is pull your first video clip down and then you want to pull your second clip down into the position where you want it to be. Let's go ahead and reverse those here. There. Now, next thing you want to do is you want to open up the clip on the bottom and you want to go to picture in picture. First thing you want to do is change that to full screen. Once you do that, you want to go ahead and crop it. So, in order to crop this, you want to get it right in the middle of the screen. Once you get that cropped how you like it, you want to go ahead and go to scale and you want to fit into position properly. And as you can see now you have a clone. So you got your first clone done. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to exit here by clicking on that you want to go ahead and get your clips lined up to size proportionately now if you didn't go ahead and you know get everything set up at the beginning like you want to you want to do that first you might even um, trim some off the front instead of deleting some things off the back now once you get your first clone set up the next thing that you want to do is you have to go ahead and make a movie of this because in Pinnacle you can't add any extra tracks in so you have to go ahead and save this file together as it is so you want to go to make movie and you want to go ahead and create a file I'm going to do mine in uh, MPEG-2 HD 1080p so you go ahead and once this is finished here you want to click on create file and you want to save it to the folder that you want to save it to. So I'm going to name this one Clone 2. And I know it's in my cloning folder under my videos. So I'm going to click on save and we'll be right back. Okay. Now that we're done we want to make sure that we have the file where we saved it at so I'm going to go ahead and check my folder and I see clone 2 that's the one that I saved so now I'm going to go back to edit and I'm going to do new project don't want to save the changes now I have clone 2 so I'm going to bring clone 2 into the master track now I have another clone that I made of the individual in the middle of the couch. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that clip down to the title track. And now that I have this here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to open this one up, go to picture in picture, and I'm going to make it full screen again. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on crop and I'm going to put it right into the middle being sure not to get anything cut off. Now that I have that in the middle I'm going to go to scale I'm going to adjust it, make sure I get into the right position. It's about right there. Now, what I want to do with this one is I can leave it like this and have the three clones, as you can see, or I can do a little something fun with it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make him into a ghost. So, I'm going to use this video transparency to make him as tra transparent like a ghost.
So you move this over how you want it. And the great thing about this is because you have the first file saved, then everything that was behind it is still going to be there. So you'll be able to see the lamp through him, be able to see the couch through him. You'll be able to see everything through him because that first file had everything on it in the cloning between the two. So it's right about where I like them now. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this to bring this back. And now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move this track over some and I'm going to bring this in some as well and what I'm going to do to make him appear as a ghost is I'm going to add a fade in on the front and a fade on the back so that he fades onto the screen as a ghost and it fades off and the other clones will stay on the screen and there you have it as you saw in the first uh, demonstration on the video, you have three clones. If you want to keep the third clone and have that third clone, um, you know, just regular with no transparency and don't make it into a ghost, that's fine. You can do it that way as well. So when you save your movie, everything will be set up. You'll have three clones and you'll be good to go. So that's it. Three clones or a ghost and three clones in Pinnacle Studio 14. Or Pinnacle Studio 14 Ultimate Collection HD. Thanks, and we hope to see you again soon.